coach home from Hubert Studio. Going into change environment again. Um, there are more than ever um, over the last two weeks, I mean the last week, there's more than people than ever leaving, um, just, I'm going to use this terminology, I, I slightly don't apologise, I'm apologising at the same time, the safety of their own home um, and to go out into uh, the uncertainty of life outside the house or I think I think I've heard the term returning to normal life I don't I forgot we've got a number on it how many times this week uh oh I think about 80% of my calls if not a little bit more um and I have a lot of calls during the week I have about about 90 calls during the week so of 90 calls um there is um a distinct use of the terminology we're going back to normal back to normal um except it's not normal um, and this is where this is a revisitation of, of some of the few things I spoke about during during the last few months. And now it's it's um, it's a slightly different slant on it, I guess, um, depending on how you're responding and how you're reacting. Um, one of the first things I'd say, and I was seeing it just just this afternoon to another client, is that one of the massive hinges between when I've talked about this previously and when talking to clients previously is that um, to a very large degree if not reality about 90 percent or 95 percent of our time or our environment has been controlled by us as much as we say it hasn't been our immediate environment at home as in how much we spend a bit in the house in the back garden out going for a walk uh essential travel non-essential eat out to eat out essential non-essential eating out um going to spend time with kids uh taking a day trip out if it's recently all of that has been within our control. I think we can choose to do it or not do it. Um, we can choose to work in the living room for four hours and in the study for two, um, whatever, right? You can choose to go for an hour walk, hour and a half walk, um, right before work, switching on a laptop at home. Um, all of that is a personal choice and we have 100% really control over that. And um, what's really started to happen in the last seven days is that the um, some elements, the first, I'm gonna call it, I don't want to call it, the, I was about to call it something else, I won't call it what I was about to call it, the first stage, <laughs> we'll call it that, the first stage of control being taken back to some degree is things that returning to school, okay, it's going to call it what it is, let's not pretend, let's not beat around any school bush, um, it is the return to school, so for the first time one element has been taken back, as in control of timings for structure of the day has been taken from um, from an individual, from us or from a client, and placed into the hands of the school. So the school's saying, actually, I'm going to control this element of your time, um, and this is what's going to happen. You're going to drop kids off at this time, so you have to leave the home at the time of which the school, or I have dictated as a head teacher. So your kids need to be at this time, your kids then need to at this time, and they're back out at this time, and we're going to rotate it around. Now, that, as you probably might be experiencing or imagining right now, um, if you haven't got kids even to imagine what, what that's like and what i'm talking about is the switch of control between 100 percent in control of yourself so me as an individual i'm controlling my day-to-day -day movements and send, then someone externally is now controlling that now i know the argument of, and, and i know the argument on the flip side of this is that oh well i've been made to stay at home and it's been out of my control well actually what you do within that bubble of your home has been your control or our control. So now it's being dictated to by someone else. Like you have to leave it uh, to send your kids back to school. And it's creating, uh, is creating such a high amount of uncertainty. Um, I have, I've, I've had a client use the word anxiety. I've got some anxiety over it. I've not been sleeping. There's a lot of no sleeping going on um, as the time gets closer. If not, because some kids have gone back, right? This is interesting. So this is what's interesting. So I'm seeing the first stages of this with the first set of kids going back to school. Um, and how things are going and actually um, this is where uncertainty comes now this is only the first stage the second stage is, is all of us going back to work right this is this is this will be the big one and it's again I'm, I'm kind of doing this slant on the element of control over a change of environment although that's the label of this live or, or um, podcast actually what it is is that our environment is being changed it's being changed by someone else's control and that's what's causing it now what is actually fascinating is that, um, truth be told, when I am speaking to clients about this particular aspect of uncertainty or, or um, anxiety, whatever you say, it's um, 
it's interesting because there seems to be some amnesia about January and February when actually 100% of our time was really dictated to by somebody else, more or less, if you consider what our days probably look like, as in uh, wake up to the alarm because the alarm is to go to work, jump in the shower because I need to be clean for work, get out the door, get in the car, uh, dictated to by the traffic. So how, how early I leave is dictated by the traffic. Um, I have to be aware by a certain time the employer tells me to be there or as I, I dig up my mortgage paid, so that's control for me. I get to work, the meetings are booked in for me, my clients, my customers control my time or what I have to do at work. Uh, my lunch break is dictated to me. Um, I then finish at a certain time. Again, the traffic decides what time I get home. Um, and then what the kids want for dinner, or husband wants, or what I want for dinner is then dictated to, for, to see how I'm going with this. I could do the whole day and the whole week in the same thing. Um, and what's interesting is there's not a rebellion, I would go as strong as that, it's just that, that pushback against actually now, I still want that control. I actually still want that control of my life. And what we're seeing in the first stages of that is pushback to say, actually, no, this isn't, this isn't sitting right with me. Now, a lot of that is, and Sam's done alive in this as well, similarly to this, um, with his own opinion about it, obviously, um, is that um, the reality is that we do have to let go of it and remind ourselves actually if you cast your mind back to earlier in the year how much our environment um was dictated to for us and actually that was a-okay and there was no challenges with that and we're all quite happy bunnies up until end of march um in that well for the, on the most part unless you had challenges or anything actually having our days um that kind of that routine for us was actually quite there's no uncertainty, right? Um, I think, and that's something to, to, I wanted to bring up today on this live, um, just to remind people that it's not actually ever as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, it's again going through, it's the same thing, I mean, bringing up so many times this week again, um, because there's so much change happening, it's going through the change cycle. This element of stages of going back to the new norm, um, yeah, have to reset it. Thanks for saying it there. Have to just to clarify. Going back to the new, going to the new norm. Yeah, it's going to the. It's, it's the same. Going back, to, going back to life. Going back to the new norm. It's like there's like almost a contradiction in the statement. Not picking on you, have to. Just everyone does it. It's like we're going back. So we're going backwards, except it's new. It's confusing, isn't it? Going backwards. Something like Back to the Future. Going back to the new. Huh. But it is, it's like that. There's a contradiction between what people are kind of um, want. Like, I want to have my old life back, except I don't want it like this. So I'm really uncertain about it and I'm quite scared and nervous. It's like there is a contradiction between how people are dealing with it and how looking at it. Um, now, oh, look at this back. <laughs> Hina, we're going back to the new norm. We're contradicting ourselves. We're going backwards while getting something new. <laughs> Just to recap where you left. Um, so what is interesting is it's that concept. It's actually what you're looking for now. Uh, again, going back to the change cycle, it's the same issue if someone wants to get through this at the minute, the same kind of conversations I'm having with clients is like, what is the worst case scenario? So let's actually weigh it up. Let's contemplate it. Eee. Let's contemplate it and actually go through pros and cons. So what's the pros of keeping your, your kids at school and doing homeschooling until the end of time? Uh, and what's the cons? Right. What are the cons of sending them back to school? What are the cons of those and what are the pros? Like, how, what is the worst case of a certain choice? And then where does it end up? Because, and you, you'll know this from all the other lives I've done, when fear comes into a conversation in terms of trying to, to weigh this out, that the fear factor will be so far-fetched it's impossible for it to be real. And that's what our minds will do to us when we're thinking about uncertainty and change and going back, backwards to the new norm. I feel like going backwards and then forwards at the same time. It's like, we're rocking. <laughs> That's what you're probably always like. We're going back to the new norm, people. I'm just rocking backwards and forwards. I'm going back, then forward. <laughs> All joking aside, actually, this is this is where we're going to get to the stage where we're going next, which is when everybody goes back into offices and starts to commute um, and starts to interact and have meetings at work. And everything you see now is is kind of flowing into let's shut down Zoom calls. Let's get together in person. Um, let's actually start to, to meet and work together. So that after schools is definitively the next step and you can see it coming. I'm like this, there it is on the horizon. Get schools out of the way next two, three weeks. We'll be looking at, at working in offices come 
end September, October, if not earlier than that, as soon as kids are back in and there's no guffuffle, love that word, gonna get it in as many times as possible, no guffuffle, move on to the next thing, which is going back to work. So again, it's the same thing. We'd have to go through the same thought process of what's the pros and cons of not going back to work or staying working at home. If I cast my mind back, what was the pros of working at, at, at work before? Like nobody had a, 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 a con really. It's just how we've, we, what we've experienced over the last few months that dictates what we'd say now. So roll that forward into to planning stuff like we talked about in change cycle. So if you're gonna plan it, like planning kids to go back to school is, yeah, that plan is this that's dictated to you plan to go back to work that's another one so then it's maintaining it so actually actioning it it's like i actually got to get the kids through the door like I'm gonna have to get it done or get fined right the next stage will get getting myself through the door to go to work weighing up how it's really going to be now this is all going to come for all of us agree me <laughs> my work is that field right now <laughs> but for all of us in, including all the, everybody like all of us are going to go through the same situation the unknown how are we going to work what's going to work like um the thing is you've got to ask yourself is again like weigh up the pros and cons what's the pros of staying at home and what's the con at the end of the day we have to accept and as i'm saying earlier let go of the fact that we cannot and do not control our own environment really in 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 standard life i'm going to say it very carefully in life before Jan, 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 january march see i don't even know what month we are life before march in terms of everything else, we didn't have this much control. And yet we're desperately trying to hold on to so much of it now, when actually everything will be okay. That's, that's, that's like gonna be the main tagline of my life today. Everything will be okay, people. If you let go of whatever it is, and letting go of it means rationalizing it. It means weighing it out. It means talking it through. It means talking to your coach or talking to somebody outside your home more often than not to understand that that, that is that is normal also to have these thought processes i'm not saying it's not um what we do have to remember is that you got you got to appreciate you've got to remember what it was like before in that sense we had so much we still enjoyed the like life and enjoyed the time that we did have within the home to control that within the home right and socialize and have people around and go out and do all those things um, and we'll have that again. This is some elements of, of our lives now that we've got to um, let go of, let go of the control. It's all right. It's like everything. Feel the fear, let go. As long as you're not like on a, on a, on a rope over a canyon, don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah, I remember Helen told me once, just, just face the fear and let go. Mm, not in those cases. Or if you're hanging off a bridge, don't let go. <laughs> so recap for you guys. Um, Please, in order to go, I've gone into this one a few times. It again, this was because of the back of so many conversations this week, and another client asked for this again, right? There, I've done a few lives about this. This is one was placed just for this time, okay? Changes are coming, our environment is changing again. Um, we're leaving the house, we're out of our comfort zone, um, we're dealing with higher stress levels again, right? Due to work, school, even the gym at some point. You know, clients are uh, have some stresses about joining the gym, so it's okay. Got it covered. <laughs> no, there's nothing to worry about. That's the thing, you contemplate, so you've, you've got to weigh up every decision you make rather than, than let it sit on, this is bad, this is bad, I don't know, I don't know. Actually weigh up, what do you benefit from actually letting this come back into your life, letting go of the control. Understanding, I said earlier, that we've had all this control within our household, just everything, like, how 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 late I can turn up at work on the laptop. If anybody can see me even wearing pyjamas. Can they see that on camera, right? Those are all the things we've been able to actually um, influence within our own homes for numbers of months, even schooling our own kids. Um, all of it, working hours, the lot. And now, and now, cometh the time, cometh the going back to, <laughs> going back to the new norm. Huh? It's a contradiction and yet, um, that's exactly what a lot of people are saying and, and experiencing and feeling. Um, it's a split between um, it's a split between wanting to have the life back they had and also not let going of the control they've really got. So it is a contradiction. And that what I'm saying is that actually some of this is going to weigh the pros and cons and then let go and understand that actually um, we didn't even recognise and we didn't really appreciate that we, we didn't actually control a hell of a lot of time before this. We just didn't recognise it until we had full control. Um, we're all okay, we're all sane, majority of us, 
<laughs> and we all got on just fine. Um, so please, people, talk it out. And if you want, if you are with UFIT and you have a coach, uh, this is the perfect time, right? We're here to listen um, and support where we can, right? Because we said we're all going for it. All right. Uh, oh, no, not bad till Monday. Oh, Monday. Ooh, similar fear and decision making again. Hmm. Fear and decision making. What's changing now in fear and decision making? Because there's some changes, uh, as you imagine, through lockdown. Now we're in this this place. Fear and decision making. That'd be a fun one. So join me on Monday. Uh, in the meantime, have a fantastic bank holiday weekend, and I'll join you for bank holiday Monday at five. Until then, ciao.